Welcome to our edition of the China Briefing where we dive into the swirling currents of international politics and tech industry tremors. Today, we're starting off in Canada, where the political scene has been shaken by revelations involving MP Handong and alleged election interference by foreign powers, including China. Picture this, high school students from China, bust into cast votes in a party election. Sounds like a plot from a political thriller, right? Well, it's the reality that's raising eyebrows and questions about electoral integrity north of the border. Shifting gears to the tech world, we're zooming into China where tech giants are locking horns with their employees over non-compete agreements. Imagine being watched, secretly filmed, or even stalked, all because you thought about switching jobs. Sounds like a nightmare, doesn't it? Well, for many in China's tech sector, it's the harsh reality of trying to navigate their careers amidst the golden handcuffs of non-compete clauses. It's a tale of talent retention taken to the extreme, with a legal system that often sides with the companies. And finally, we're crossing the Pacific for a bit of diplomatic drama between the United States and China. Presidents Biden and Xi Jinping have picked up the phone for a chat, the first since November, touching on everything from military cooperation to Taiwan. While it's more of a check-in than a breakthrough, it's a crucial step in thawing the frosty relations between these two superpowers. Amidst the backdrop of global security challenges, from terrorism stretching its tentacles across continents to cyber threats exposing vulnerabilities, these dialogues are pivotal in navigating the complex dance of international relations. So, from election intrigue in Canada, to the battle for talent in China's tech sector, and the high-stakes diplomacy between the US and China, it's clear the world stage is set with challenges and complexities. Please stay tuned for the detailed dive into these stories and more. In a recent testimony that has sent ripples through the corridors of power in Canada, a member of parliament, Han Dong, has found himself at the center of a federal inquiry into election interference by foreign countries, including China. According to the New York Times, Dong disclosed that high school students from China were bussed in to vote for him in a party election, a revelation that has raised questions about the integrity of the electoral process. The plot thickens as Dong revealed his interactions with the students in 2019, though he remained in the dark about who orchestrated their transportation on the election day. A Canadian intelligence report, unveiled during the hearing, pointed fingers at a known proxy agent of the Chinese consulate, accused of providing the students with falsified documents to enable their voting. The report didn't stop there, it also suggested that the Chinese consulate had applied pressure on the students through implicit threats concerning their visas and their families back in China, a tactic aimed at swaying their support towards Dong. Amidst these allegations, the Chinese embassy has stood its ground, vehemently denying any form of interference in Canadian politics. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, the Chinese tech industry is grappling with its own set of challenges, as reported by Nikkei Asia. Chinese tech giants such as Pinduoduo, Tencent, ByteDance, Baidu, and CATL have come under scrutiny for their aggressive enforcement of non-compete agreements, a strategy aimed at retaining talent and safeguarding trade secrets. These contracts have become a golden handcuff for many employees, who find themselves facing legal battles, hefty financial penalties, or forced unemployment for up to two years if they dare to break these agreements. The lengths to which companies will go to enforce these contracts are startling, with surveillance, secret filming, and stalking becoming part of their arsenal. The Chinese legal system's tendency to side with companies in non-compete disputes further exacerbates the situation often requiring little to no evidence from the companies to prove their case. Across the Pacific, an attempt to thaw the frosty relations between the United States and China was made as President Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping engaged in their first conversation since November, as covered by the Washington Post. This dialogue, aimed at resetting communications and finding common ground, touched on several pressing issues, including military cooperation, counter-narcotics efforts, Taiwan, and China's relationship with Russia. Despite the tension surrounding Taiwan, with Beijing warning against US support for Taiwanese independence, the call was described as a check-in rather than a breakthrough in policy. 
This conversation follows a series of high-level meetings between U.S. and Chinese officials and was proposed during a January meeting between U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and China's top diplomat, Wang Yi. As the two superpowers navigate their complex relationship, these talks are seen as crucial steps in managing tensions and reducing the risk of military clashes. These stories, spanning from Canada's political landscape to the competitive tech industry in China, and the diplomatic efforts between the US and China, highlight the intricate and often tense interactions on the global stage. Whether it's the alleged interference in Canadian elections, the battle over talent in China's tech sector, or the delicate dance of diplomacy between two superpowers, these narratives underscore the challenges and complexities of international relations in today's interconnected world. In a world where terrorism and cyber threats no longer recognize international borders, recent events have underscored the complexity and interconnectedness of global security challenges. Foreign policy recently illuminated the alarming reality that terrorism, once perceived as a predominantly Middle Eastern issue, has now firmly rooted itself in Asia, following a devastating attack in Moscow claimed by the Islamic State, IS. This attack, which tragically claimed over 130 lives, has not only sparked a flurry of conspiracy theories within Russian media but also prompted IS to release a 41-minute audio message, boasting of its influence stretching from Africa to Southeast Asia. This incident starkly highlights the geopolitical vacuum left by the chaotic US withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021, leaving countries like China and Russia to grapple with the extremist ideologies knocking at their doors. The resultant political victories for groups like the Taliban underscore a troubling erosion of global cooperation against terrorism, a unity that had been painstakingly built following the horrors of 9-11. The Washington Post, on the other hand, brought to light a different kind of threat, cyber insecurity, through a detailed examination of Microsoft's cybersecurity failings. A report by the Cyber Safety Review Board castigated Microsoft for a cascade of errors that led to a significant breach by Chinese hackers, targeting top US government officials' emails. This breach, described as preventable, exposes not just the technological lapses but a concerning corporate culture within Microsoft that prioritizes rapid development over security. Shockingly, the company still remains in the dark about how the Chinese hackers executed the attack highlighting a grave need for a complete overhaul of its cybersecurity practices. Meanwhile, in an attempt to navigate these turbulent waters, President Biden engaged in a crucial dialogue with Chinese leader Xi Jinping, as reported by the New York Times. Their conversation, covering a spectrum from narcotics production to the Ukraine conflict, signifies an effort to stabilize the increasingly strained US-China relationship. This dialogue, occurring ahead of significant diplomatic visits to China, underscores the critical need for cooperation amidst rising global tensions. These diverse yet interconnected narratives from foreign policy, The Washington Post, and The New York Times paint a vivid picture of the multifaceted challenges facing our world today. From the resurgence of terrorism in unexpected corners of the globe to the vulnerabilities exposed by cyber attacks and the delicate dance of diplomacy between superpowers, it's clear that the path to global security is fraught with complexities. Yet, these challenges also present an opportunity for nations to come together, reforge alliances, and address these issues with a renewed sense of urgency and cooperation. As we navigate this uncertain terrain, the lessons learned from these incidents could very well define the future of international relations and global security. In a significant diplomatic engagement that caught the world's attention, US President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping held their first conversations since November, as reported by Deutsche Welle. The dialogue, rich with geopolitical nuances, covered a range of critical issues including Taiwan, artificial intelligence, and security matters. Biden, in a move to assert the U.S. stance, reassured Xi that the United States opposed any coercive measures aimed at bringing Taiwan under Beijing's control. He underscored the importance of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, while also voicing concerns over China's trade policies and non-market economic practices. On the other side, Xi issued a stern warning, indicating that Beijing would not remain passive if the U.S. continued to support China's high-tech development. 
Despite the tense moments, the two leaders agreed on the importance of keeping the lines of communication open and promoting consultation mechanisms, highlighting a fragile yet crucial diplomatic balance. Meanwhile, tragedy struck in the Gaza Strip, as reported by the New York Times, when Israeli strikes hit an aid convoy run by World Central Kitchen, resulting in the death of seven workers. The convoy, clearly marked and having coordinated its movements with Israel's military, became an unfortunate casualty of the ongoing conflict. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in a rare admission, apologized for the strike, describing it as a tragic case of our forces unintentionally hitting innocent people. This incident, marking a sorrowful chapter in the war, has led to the suspension of operations by World Central Kitchen and another aid agency, American Near East Refugee Aid, in Gaza, highlighting the perilous conditions aid workers face in conflict zones and the dire consequences of military engagements on humanitarian efforts. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.